city is Pittsburgh and the stadium is Heinz Field. We'll have temperatures below freezing for tonight's game as the Jets match up against the Steelers. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. This is a steady offense and will try and wear you down every time they have the ball. They've got a solid offensive line, they can control the clock. They love to use the running backs and tight ends in the passing game, giving five to ten yard gains to keep the ball moving methodically down the field. See it puts in motion a lot too. John, this defense prides itself on stuffing the run. They got success in the defensive formation, but like to stack the line to get the job done. As far as their pass defense goes, their corners do well in man coverage and are very physical, so they can slow receivers up and take them off their routes. Look at those guys down there. They can't even sit still. Heck, watching from up here almost makes me want to go down there and join in. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Lights are on, both teams are ready, so let's go to the field for the opening kickoff. The Jets are lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one, a great kick. From the one. Our EA Sports coach close-up features two very unique coaches. Bill Cowher has one of the most impressive track records of any head coach. He's only the second coach in NFL history to have started a career with six straight playoff appearances. The other was Paul Brown. He'll pass on first down. Throws it. And he makes the grab. Big hit there. He was run over by a truck. <laughs> Two-ton truck pulling a trailer. REA Sports coach close-up continues with Herman Edwards. His defense has steadily improved over the course of a short tenure and looks to create more turnovers. Making some changes along the defensive front. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Hand it off. Stop behind the line, loss of a couple. Abraham with a textbook tackle. You don't see too many corners in the league who will come up and make a play on a guy behind the line of scrimmage like that. That's a nice looking play. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. They give it to the handback. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Staley couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. Good defensive staying there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. Here's the punt. From the 47 yard line. They're ready to call their first play of the game. James Pennington, one of the best and most exciting quarterbacks in the league. And he has a great arm, is excellent at reading the defense. The other thing he's got is patience, which is one of the underrated qualities in a quarterback. Having a good arm doesn't mean a whole lot. You have to try and muscle the ball into double coverage. Polk stops him at the 47. Short gain and then burst through the middle. Maybe half a yard. I don't think I'd call that one a burst. It was more of a limp up the middle. They need seven. The Steelers come out in a nickel pack. Mark fakes the handoff. Throws on the move. Almost picked off. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. The quarterback felt a little pressure on that one. And it looked like he fired the ball out there before he wanted to. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Surveying the field with the throw. A little off target, but caught. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. We're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play. He gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Looks like he's changing the play. Barrier makes 
the play at the 30-yard line. Pickup of about five. And this is the fifth play of this drive. They need five. They'll go from the I formation. Hand it off. He's at the 20. The 10. And he high steps his way to the end zone. Curtis Martin is in there for the score. Here's the thing. He puts on such an amazing move right here that the defender almost falls to the ground. I mean, that wasn't even fair what he did to that guy. And from here, he's headed for the end zone and the touchdown. It's on its way. The point after is good. The Jets are set to kick it deep. Should be a return here. From the five-yard line. He forced a three and out on the offense's last possession. Ball on their own 21. The defense lines up in the nickel. Hand it off to the back. Play action. Throwing. And he hits his target. Mickens makes the play at the 34. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that's the change. It's first and ten. The Jets come out in a nickel package. With a deep throw to the right side. What a catch. Tongue is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 28, he brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. First and ten. to run on that one. And the thing is, when you don't get underneath the defensive line, you're not going to have the leverage that's needed to knock them off the ball. And that time, the defense had all the leverage. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Throws it. Perfect throw. Straight. Records the tackle at the 10-yard line. Number seven doing an excellent job on this drive. Things are really slowing down for him right now. He's seeing the coverage and finding the open man with ease. He's really in some kind of rhythm out there. They need 10 for the touchdown. Linebacker shifting. Bettis, the lone back. Number seven with a man in motion. Coleman with the tackle at the two-yard line. Eight-yard game. Two yards to go for the touchdown. To carry it, fakes the handoff. So a fly to the end zone, and a man in the end zone, but over through the pass. You gotta take your time and get your receiver a ball that he can make a play on. He didn't do it there. And this is the seventh play of this drive. Cross play to the right. 
bet it. Couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes at the back has to choose from. Reed lines up for the field goal to try to put them on the board for the first time in the game. The kick is up, no doubt about that one. The Steelers have tightened it up. The Steelers are ready to kick this one off. They'll return this one. From the seven. To the 20. They get the ball back after a touchdown in the last possession. And let's see about a repeat performance on this drive. Ball on their own 27. They'll go from the I formation. Porter with the stop at the 32 yard line. So that play goes for about six. Second down and four to go. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. Five yards to go. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Looking for a receiver. Throwing on the run. He had another receiver who was open. He's got to do a better job of reading the defense and going through his progression. He can't lock in on one guy and try and force it to him. He has to know that other guys in the offense can make plays out there, too. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. Fair catch called for. So they have first and ten here. The defense changing its coverage. Ward, the man in motion. He tucks it away. Keeps his feet moving. Solid hit. Just crunched it. And the thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. Bennett couldn't escape the pursuit and was cut down quickly. These guys up front are very tough to block because they can use their size and strength to get excellent leverage on running play. Sometimes they struggle a little with their consistency. But they always seem to be a big factor when the game's on the line. With the throw, and the catch is made. And he just got level. Yeah, you know that whole deal about what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? Well, the unstoppable force won that one. It's third down and a yard. Hands it off. Pressure. Rolls out to his left. Just couldn't get that pass under control. He had trouble bringing that one. He's a competitor out there. He wants the ball in a pressure situation. And you can usually count on him to get the first down for it. This time, he just couldn't hang on to it. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. <laughs> First and ten. Nickelback in this time. Directing traffic. Dropping back. On the move. 
incomplete pass. Good call by the defense as they sent the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. Martin, the lone setback. Looks like he's changing the play. Moss comes in motion, drops back. He surveys the field, throwing. Great throw. Across midfield. Hope makes the stop at the 37-yard line. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking him right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Records the tackle at the 35-yard line. Pulled down after a minimal game. They just manhandled him at the line of scrimmage. I always say that if you win the battle in the trenches, it's going to go a long way towards your winning the game. Second and eight. The Steelers come out in a dime package. So at the end of one, the score is 7-3. The teams have switched sides and will start the second quarter. First down marker just inside the 27. Martin lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Beck goes in motion. Barrier is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 30-yard line. Good pickup on that play as they try to get the running game going, establish something big. I'd be running it with this guy, too. If he can keep getting runs and pick up four or five yards a pop, they should keep going to him. His four or five yards per play is what they're going to need. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Gets it away back. And he can't find a way to keep possession. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. That time he just missed taking him down. Doug Bryant comes in to try what should be about a 47-yard field goal. And it's on its way. The kick sails through the upright. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. You can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. From the two-yard line, it's on the ground. The Jets grab the live ball. Has a touchdown, Jets. Brian comes in for the extra point. It's up, and the extra point is good. The Jets are lined up for the kickoff. Good kick should be returnable. From the 7 to the 20. The Steelers will start to drive from 29. 
It's first and ten. Bettis is the deep back. Hand it off. Stop behind the line. Loss of a couple. Very little blocking to work with on that play. Yeah, that's just great play from the defense. They play with great leverage up front and always seem to get penetration. When you have defenders in the backfield, it makes it very difficult to run or pass. The Jets come out in a dime package. Gets the pass off, and he makes the grab. Number seven will be facing a third down now after that pass next six. They need six. They come out in a dime package. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. Not much touch on that pass. They may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. Here's the kick. And he signals for the fair catch. It's first and ten. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Gets the call. Fakes the handoff. Throws on the run. Right to him. Scott makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. McKenzie is called for holding. Holding happens on almost every play. It just depends on whether the official sees it and decides to call it. Ball on their own 23. The offense lines up with split backs behind the quarterback. And they'll bring it back because of that infraction. This offense cannot be effective if they make mistakes like that. First down and a long way to go following that penalty. The Steelers come out in a dime package. Surveying the field. Rolls right. Under pressure. On the run. Incomplete. And that brings up second down. For a receiver, gets the pass off, and it's complete. Barrier is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 25-yard line, Pennington delivered the pass right on time, John. And I love the way this guy throws the football. He has great touch and seems to always be putting it right there in the numbers. Third down and long coming up here. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Looking for an option. Rolling right. Rowing. Incomplete pass. Going deep on third down, but he couldn't get the ball to the receiver. A massive waking up solid for Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. Here's the punt. From the 27-yard line. Picks up a few yards on the return. So they have first and ten here. They'll go from the I formation. Hands it off. Great fade with the pass. The defense has it. The savvy linebacker gets the turnover. Most guys who've been around the lake for a long time aren't easily fooled. 
And the quarterback looks them off with pump fakes. They stay in their feet, keeping their eyes on them, and then make this type of play. Nickelback in this time, directing traffic. So, moves in motion. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got hit so hard, he darn near had to take a taxi back to the stadium. And they went with the run on that play. Yeah, sure looks like this guy's going to be involved in the offense today. Second and four. Records the tackle at the 26-yard line. Good gain there and a first down. If the defense keeps giving up runs like that for first downs, they'll have to make some adjustments to slow this guy down. Mark fakes the handoff. Rowing. He hits his receiver. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 15. The quarterback did a good job finding the receiver with the touch pass. That receiver knew just how far he had to go to get his team a fresh set of downs. So they have first and ten here. The defense lines up in the nickel. Hands it off to the back. Barrier with the tackle at the six. When you talk about establishing a run early in the game, this is exactly the kind of thing you're talking about. They'll need to reach the five to convert. Mark the deep back. Number 67 makes the play at the six-yard line. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. Mark lines up behind his fullback in the eye. with the stop at the five. So didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep them off balance while trying to draw them off sides. We expected to see the kicker here, but it appears they're going to go for it. Perfect run in that type of situation. The offense has been knocking on the door, and now they just kicked it down. Brian comes in to attempt the point after. And it's on its way. The extra point is good. That's 17 unanswered points. They just can't seem to stop them. The Jets are set to kick it deep. It's on its way. 
from the seven yard line to the 20. Penalty marker down. So we have first and ten here. They line up in the eye formation. Give it to the halfback. Sharp step on. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. Bettis couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. And they get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. The Jets are on a nickel pack. Hand it off. Vilma with the stop at the 18-yard line. So they dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. The Steelers come out in the bunch formation. Gets the pass off. And he ducks out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Good defensive stay in there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. Here's the kick. He's waving for the fair catch. The offense is back on the field after that last touchdown drive. Let's see if they try to move the ball on the ground again. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Only one man back. Oh, pulls him down at the 37-yard line. Second down and six to go. Mark the lone back. Pressure coming. He's scrambling around. And he's brought down in the backfield by Barry. Veteran linebacker bursts through and gets the sack. He's always had the uncanny ability to have success in the flip, especially when the other team least expects it. There's no need for the quarterback to force any throw. There's a whole second half to play, and they don't want to be making any mistakes. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. Dropping back, looking for an option, closing in, throwing on the run. The Steelers call a timeout. They have two timeouts remaining. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. So the lineup to punt after going three and out. Here's the punt. From the 23-yard line. We're guessing they're going to just throw it and do their best to move into scoring range since they don't want to go into the half with the score the way it is. Directing traffic. The quarterback is back in the shotgun. Pass play here on first down. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Barrett brings him down at the 41. Pittsburgh calls a timeout. They have one timeout left. It's first and ten. Throwing on first down. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. They'll have to move the ball downfield quickly through the air to try to score before the half. Throws it. And he, oh, he had it and lost it. Incomplete. Here's the defense's chance to put an end to this drive. 
The defensive lineman will be in a full pass rush. So let's see if the guys up front can prevent the sack. Out of the gun. Dropping back, looking downfield, gets rid of it, diving, tackle to bring him down. They can't get past the marker, so it'll bring up his fourth down. Fifth play of this drive, about a yard to go. Hand it off. Thompson makes the stop at the 45. Throwing on first down. Rosen almost got it. Despite good coverage, he forces the ball in there. The quarterback has all the tools you look for. He just needs to be a little more patient out there. Drill, drill. Switch it, come on. Bettis is the deep back. With the pass, perfect pass. They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice-looking drive here. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. Dropping back to pass on first down. He finds his man. Pittsburgh pulls a timeout. That's their last one. And so the kicker ready to come out onto the field and try to put one through the uprights before halftime. Jeffrey comes out to attempt what will be a 34-yard field goal. And it's up. Reed is good for the second time with that kick. The Steelers are able to move a little closer. The Steelers are ready to kick this one off. Nice distance. From the four. To the 20. Can't bring him down. This should be the last play of the hand. He'll just take a knee. At the end of two, the score is 24 6. We'll go back to the play on the field. So before we start the third quarter, Here's a quick look at how both teams have fared in the first half. Not a bad kick. They'll set up for the return. From the 12. The Jets will start this drive from the 27. So they have first and 10 here. Defense lines up in the nickel. Mark. Hope makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. He's looking pretty good running the ball. And I'll tell you, that sure takes a lot of pressure off your quarterback. About a yard to go. Mark is the deep back. it off to the back across midfield he's finally brought down at the 38 yard line great job by the line to spring him for a big game i'll tell you he shot through the line of scrimmage and you can see the speed he has once he gets into the open field just amazing him down at the 36. They're going to keep testing this rushing defense. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. About eight yards. Mark the deep man. Huh? 
He was really hit hard on that play. Yeah, you talk about your decleaner. That's what happened there. He unloaded, and he got a decleaner. He was fortunate to get anything on that play. And that's a tribute to their strength and conditioning coach. These guys spend almost as much time in the weight room as they do on the field. And you see it pay off when a guy can turn a play that looks like a sure loss into a play for a couple of yards. Get up, D. Get up. Hut. Hands it off. Setting up play action. Launches this one to the right. Ooh, nearly picked off. Fourth down here, John, a lot better than a turnover. Which is what the defense should have had on that play. About a 51-yard attempt here. The kick is up. Clearly not the result he was looking for. First and ten. Number seven, out of the gun. Dropping back, looking for an option, throws it. Incomplete pass. John, it looked like it was tipped at the very last moment by the safety. That was a good read of the quarterback. That's what you need to do when you're playing center field. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Throwing. Behind him, but he has it. And he steps out of bounds at the 36-yard line. That'll move the change, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. Rushing on first down has not worked out for them today. Less than a two-yard per carry average. That's why they're losing. You've got to be able to get yards on first down. He surveys the field with the throw, and he makes the grab. Dives and makes the tackle. Good, strong throw by the quarterback on that pass. You know, they really put that thing in there. That's why you used to see a lot of drop passes by a defender, and it's usually because he just can't hang on to the thing. Number seven from the shotgun. Dropping back, gets rid of it, and it's complete. Coleman brings him down at the eight. So they pick up a first down and a lot more. Good call there. It's first and goal. Bettis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. To carry it. Nice play for him. Gets his hand on it. He was lucky to get that one off. The defense was all over him. Yeah, it wasn't a sack. What it did was make the quarterback adjust his throw and it messed up his rhythm. Sixth play of this drive. The Jets come out in a dime package. With the pass, off target, but he gets it. Touchdown. And it's not finished yet. Comes in for the extra point. And it's up. The point after is good. He's back for the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. Should be a return here. From the 7. To the 20. The 30. New York might be able to put this one away if they can get into the end zone here. It's first and ten. They line up in the I formation. Martin. Martin didn't get any help from his offensive line. It was just about impossible to run when you have guys in the backfield just as soon as you snap the ball. Second and ten.
Only one man in the backfield. With the pass, the pass rolls incomplete. So the display is excellent anticipation. That's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Seven defensive backs in on this one. Steps up with the throw. Taylor makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Looks like he's changing the play. Crosses it right. Barrier pulls him down at the 47. They tried to move the ball on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. First down marker just inside the 43. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Prabat moves in motion. Gave it off again. Runs through the tackle. He just unloaded on it. Boom. Now that is what football's all about. That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give him room to work with. Sixth play of this drive. About two to go. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. He's looking, steps up into the pocket, throwing, and it's complete. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. First and ten. The Jets line up in the bunch formation. draw barrier with the stop at the 30 good game for the offense here in the second half this is one of those guys who seems to play better as the game goes on the more he gets the ball the better he does i'd expect to see him get quite a few touches here as the game winds down the jets come out in the bunch formation Give it to the halfback, fakes the handle, and he's hit as he throws. Batted down, and the defense gets to him just as he lets it go. Yeah, he had a big arm come in right there at the last second. Ninth play of this drive. Only one man back. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. Penning read it perfectly with single coverage, but the ball was tipped away. Bryant couldn't make a long field goal on his last try. Let's see how he does here. The kick is up. No good. It hit the crossbar. First and ten. They're having no success running on first down. Which is one reason why they find themselves on the short end of the stick right now. It's hard to have consistent success without balance. 
They'll have second down upcoming after the incompletion. Three minutes remaining in the quarter. Bettis, the deep man. Gets rid of it. Almost intercepted. Nearly a turnover. The quarterback can get a little excited out there at times. Maybe that's what caused him to rush the throw a bit. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. Fair catch. So they have first and ten here. They line up in the I formation. Pennington with a man in motion. Running right. Martin couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws could be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Pressure off his back foot. Off top. Oh, he makes the catch anyway. Martin makes the catch, goes for about three yards. That'll bring up third down. Seven yards to go. Dimebacks in for this play. Looking downfield, gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. The wobbly pass falls to the ground incomplete. That pass had incompletion or interception written all over. Noah is back to punt. Randall out into return. Here's the punt. From the 39. Ball on their own 43. They're having no success running on first down. Stuff like a turkey. I mean, less than two yards isn't very good. Tongue with the tackle at the 48 yard line. Eight yard game. They have to get to the 47 to convert for the first down. The Jets come out in a nickel package. With the pass, this one falls incomplete. So that one flutters incomplete. He put too much touch in that one. The defense changing things up. 46 defense in this time. Looking for room. Great fake. Nearly intercepted. John is able to tip it away again. In every pass, there's a window you try to throw the ball through. And right now, the defense is just shutting the window. He's in for his sixth punt of the night. Here's the kick. Pass the goal line. No return here. Keep an eye on the safety. Take advantage of the spot where the defense looks soft. So they have first and ten here. Come on now. Looks like he's calling an audible. Hope makes the play at the 30. Martin has been clearly a big part in their offensive play and now has over 125 yards rushing. And at the end of three, the score is 24 to 13.
will start the fourth quarter. Back to the game. First and ten. The bats are lined up in an eye. Big pop that time. Boom! How fat was big time football? Gain of about a yard. Second down and nine to go. On the ground. Nice play fit. Gets the pass off. Turns. He has a big hit on the ball carry. And when you talk about getting unloaded on, that's what happened here. He just got unloaded on. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. So they have first and ten here. Mark the lone back. Dropping back to pass on first down. Passes left. Perfect throw. The 50. And he steps out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chain. It's first and 10. Only one man back. Pennington with a man in motion. He'll pass on first down. He was hit just as he threw. It scooped up. The 40. The 30. He's trying to make something happen by himself. And puts it on the ground. So the coach wants the referee to take another look at that last call. The call on the field is questionable. They're going to review it, and this one might get reversed. Coach is hoping they get it right here because that could be a big lift to the team. What the official will be looking for here is to see if the knee is down. It's tough to say with that replay. This one won't be easy. After the replay, the ruling on the field stands. New York will be charged with timeout. And the official is unable to see anything to change his mind, so the call stands. But they took the time to make sure. So they have first and ten here. They'll go from the I formation. Bettis. Play action. Gets rid of it. The defense has it. He saw the single coverage, let it go, but the defense was there to pick it off. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. Only one man back. Mark. Scott makes the tackle at the 17. One yard gain on that play. Second and nine. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Surveying the field. On the move. On the move. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. He got popped. I'll tell you one thing, he's going to feel that in the morning. Prevent didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Ball on their own 20. The Jets line up in the bunch formation. Rowling. The defense has it. What a play by the veteran. You know, this is one guy who has a pretty impressive list of big plays that he's made over the years. So we have first and ten here.
go up for the tailback. Hobson makes the play at the 22. Not much on that play. Yeah, and that's what happens when you talk about a disciplined defense. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. Nine yards to go. With the pass, perfect throw. Diving tackle at the 18-yard line. Caught the pass, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, the defense was real good at putting a quick end to completion. Third and six. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means that your offense is making big plays when they need them. Abraham takes him down at the four-yard line. Good read, finding the single coverage in the secondary. Just four yards from the goal line now. The coach has to be a little disappointed that his team has to settle for field goal when they move the ball into their opponent's red zone. Up in the run near the end zone, but the defense is right there for the stop. When you get down there, you got to keep moving forward. Plays are resolved in a loss, or plays that don't get you anything or really hurt your shot at a touchdown. The red zone defense has been stepping it up so far today. <laughs> what a stiff one. Stop behind the line. Look up. Pettis wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. You know what they like to run in certain situations. You can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. With the pass, Barton records the stop at the six-yard line. No gain on the play. Six more yards, and they'll put up six. They'll play things tighter on the outside. He fakes the handle. This one falls incomplete. The offense turns the ball over on downs. Yeah, but now you almost have to try for it. When you talk about fourth down situations, this is what you talk about. Of course, now they give the ball back, and you talk about failed fourth down conversion. Is the deep back. Martin. Townsend makes the tackle at the six. Gain of about a yard. Second and nine. Mark the deep man. the stop at the 11. You know that the guys up front love to run block. All offensive linemen do. Just out muscle the guy right in front of you. They've done a pretty good job of creating seams and holes for the backs in this one. Jordan, the deep back. Stops him at the 21. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. He just exploded towards the marker that time. That was a big time run. So they have first and 10 here. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. It's second down and one to go. Mark in the backfield. He 
tucks it away. John, one of your favorite terms right here. I'm going to use it. Boom. Yeah, but that's worse than a boom. That kind of hit can loosen your teeth. Run the ball, get up slow, and keep the clock moving. on their own 34 sixth play of this drive and we've reached the two minute mark still running Polamalu with the stop at the 45 the Steelers call a timeout they have two timeouts left so they have first and ten here They'll go from the I formation. Changing the play now. Looking for room. Oh, records the tackle at the 46-yard line. Pound this one up the middle with your fullback. But tell them to protect the ball. And they need about nine. Lucky, lucky. Mark the deep back. Directing traffic. The 40, Polamalu makes the tackle at the 36. This one is just about in the book. It's first and 10. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. He'll take him in. Pittsburgh calls a timeout. They have no timeouts left. Second and long. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and save the victory. He'll just take a knee. I'm guessing this should be a run. The defense can't be lollygagging around, because if they are and they give up a first, this one's over. Third and long. Curtis Martin wins the horse trailer Player of the Game Award. Dime backs in for this play. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. The gun signals the end of the game. The final score is New York 24, Pittsburgh 13. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening.